Today, we're diving into a topic that's as fascinating as it is sobering. The biggest structural failures in history. These are the moments when human ingenuity stumbled, with consequences that changed the world. Our first stop is the infamous Hyatt Regency walkway collapse in 1981, a devastating incident that forever changed the way we approach structural design and safety. The Hyatt Regency, Kansas City, a renowned hotel and convention center, was bustling with activity on July 17, 1981. Inside its grand atrium, two walkways suspended from the ceiling created a stunning architectural feature. However, that fateful evening, tragedy struck. The fourth floor walkway, packed with guests attending a tea dance, suddenly gave way, plummeting down and crashing onto the second floor walkway below. The structural failure resulted in the loss of 114 lives and injured over 200 people. The collapses prompted an intense investigation to determine the cause of the disaster. It was soon revealed that a critical design flaw in the walkway suspension system was the primary cause of the collapse. The original design, modified during construction, placed an excessive load on the connection points, compromising the structural integrity. The tragedy served as a wake-up call to the engineering community, highlighting the importance of thorough analysis, rigorous testing, and adherence to safety standards. Lessons learned from this event prompted significant changes in engineering practices, leading to stricter regulations and codes for the construction of large-scale structures. Next, we travel back to 1940, to the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington State, an engineering marvel that gained worldwide fame for its spectacular collapse. The bridge was open to the public on July 1, 1940, with its elegant design and slender appearance, it quickly became an icon of modern engineering. However, just a few months later, disaster struck. On November 7, 1940, a strong wind began to blow across the Tacoma Narrows. As the wind speed increased, it created a phenomenon known as aeroelastic flutter, causing the bridge to sway and vibrate uncontrollably. Despite efforts to stabilize it, the bridge succumbed to the forces, and within hours, it collapsed into the waters below. The collapse of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge sent shockwaves through the engineering community and became a cautionary tale of the importance of understanding aerodynamics and resonance in structural design. It highlighted the need for rigorous testing and analysis to prevent catastrophic failures. The investigation that followed revealed that the bridge's design lacked adequate stiffness and damping to counteract the aerodynamic forces. It brought to light the importance of considering wind effects during the design process and employing appropriate safety margins. Today, a new and improved Tacoma Narrows Bridge stands as a testament to the resilience of engineering. It incorporates the knowledge gained from the original bridge's failure, showcasing the advancements made in bridge design and construction practices. Our next stop is the city of Genoa, Italy, in 2018. The Ponte Morandi, also known as the Morandi Bridge, was an important transportation artery in Genoa, carrying both vehicles and trains. It was an iconic structure designed by renowned Italian engineer Riccardo Morandi and completed in 1967. On August 14, 2018, the unimaginable happened. A section of the Ponte Morandi collapsed during a heavy rainstorm, sending vehicles and debris plunging to the ground below. The collapse claimed the lives of 43 people and caused significant disruption to the local community. Following the collapse, an investigation was launched to determine the cause of the disaster. It was revealed that a combination of factors, including structural deficiencies and inadequate maintenance, contributed to the failure of the bridge. In the aftermath of the tragedy, plans were set in motion to rebuild the bridge and restore the vital connection it once provided. The new bridge, named the Genoa San Giorgio Bridge, was designed by a team of engineers and architects aiming to create a structure that not only meets rigorous safety standards, but also pays homage to the past. 
The reopening of the Genoa San Giorgio Bridge marked a significant milestone in the healing process for the people of Genoa. It signifies their unity, resilience, and collective efforts to move forward after such a devastating event. Now, let's look at a disaster that changed the face of space exploration forever. The Space Shuttle Challenger Disaster On January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger was set to embark on a highly anticipated mission, carrying a diverse crew of astronauts, including Krista McAuliffe, who would have been the first civilian teacher in space. However, just moments after liftoff, disaster struck. 73 seconds into the flight, a catastrophic failure occurred. The Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart, engulfed in a plume of smoke and flames. The seven crew members on board lost their lives in the tragedy, leaving the world in shock and mourning. The investigation that followed revealed a critical flaw in the design of the O-rings, which are part of the solid rocket boosters. The cold weather on the day of the launch compromised the O-ring's ability to seal properly, leading to the rupture and subsequent explosion. Lessons learned from the Challenger disaster led to significant changes in the Space Shuttle program. These included improved O-ring designs, enhanced safety protocols, and a renewed focus on the well-being and communication between mission control and the astronauts. The crew members of the Challenger while tragically lost, left a lasting legacy. Their sacrifice propelled a renewed commitment to space exploration and the pursuit of scientific knowledge. They continued to inspire future generations to reach for the stars. Next, let's talk about the St. Francis Dam, located in Southern California, which was an ambitious engineering project designed to provide water to the growing Los Angeles area. Completed in 1926, it stood as a testament to human ingenuity and was considered a marvel of its time. However, on the evening of March 12, 1928, disaster struck. Without warning, the dam failed, sending a colossal wave of water rushing downstream. It carved a path of destruction through the San Francisco and Santa Clara River valleys, claiming the lives of more than 400 people and leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. The investigation that followed revealed critical design and construction flaws that ultimately led to the dam's failure. The dam was built on unstable geological formations and inadequate measures were taken to ensure its stability. Combined with poor maintenance and oversight, these failures culminated in the catastrophic collapse. The San Francis Dam disaster served as a turning point in dam safety regulations and engineering practices. It prompted a re-evaluation of construction methods, increased scrutiny of geological studies, and the development of more robust safety protocols to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. In conclusion, the biggest structural failures in history serve as cautionary tales reminding us of the delicate balance between ambition and the limits of engineering. They prompt us to constantly improve our understanding of structural integrity, enhance safety measures, and push the boundaries of what is possible. Remember, the stories behind these failures are not solely about catastrophe and destruction. They are about resilience, innovation, and the enduring human spirit. Let us learn from the past appreciate the advancements we've made, and continue to build a future where safety, functionality, and creativity coexist. If you found this video informative and interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.